This is the story of Jack and the Budget Stock. So this is Jack. That's his mom. And well, they live in a house. Okay, so as the story goes, Jack sells his cow to the stranger dude, who gives him beans in return. So Jack goes home with the magical beans, and as we all know, his mom throws them out in her rage. And then bam, the stock rose overnight. But this time, it's a budget stock, not a bean stock. In the morning, Jack is surprised to see the stock, and well, he does what any sensible 10 year old would do. He climbs up the stock. So, he eventually reaches the top, and there's gigantic grass and this big gigantic door. Well, let's see if we can go in. And inside, he meets a very big guy in a suit. Well, regular people would just say hi. But this giant, he says, B54 Finance, I see a boy who can't balance. Introducing... Alan, the accountant, aka giant. Don't worry, I will teach you about financial stability. But I thought I could just get a hand that lays eggs. Golden eggs. Don't worry, my apprentice. I shall teach you about the art of budgeting. Budgeting is basically balancing out your expenses with your income and accommodating for savings. But how do I do all of this balancing stuff? Well, Jack, let's talk about the budgeting process. First, you need to assess your situation. You need to look at your income, your lifestyle, your beliefs, your values, and most importantly, your needs. All right, so step two is setting goals. Now, these goals can include financial goals, educational goals, or even personal goals. Okay, not those kind of goals, Jack. A realistic goal would be to buy a cow, go to Myrtle Beach on vacation, or maybe even take over the world. The third step is to actually create your budget. So first, choose your budgeting period. Secondly, estimate your costs and expenses. And finally, balance out your expenses with your income. Okay, so to tie everything together, let's give you an example of Jack's 30-day budget. Budgeting is basically balancing out your income with your expenses. The first thing you do is put down your allowance or your income. So Jack has an allowance of $80. Then you put down your fixed and variable costs. Which in this case are cow insurance and candy. When you subtract them from your, from your allowance, you will get your savings. Yay, savings! Okay, so step four involves monitoring your spending, saving, and investing patterns. So number five is to compare your budget, so what you decided to spend and save, with reality. For example, Jack decided to save $10, but in reality, he ended up saving only five. And make sure you improve your budget. Okay, so step six is review your success. Reward yourself or save it for a rainy day. Wait for it. But are there any rules or maybe even guidelines? Well, yes, there are, but these are only for goal setting. So for goal setting guidelines, always remember the three B's. Okay, so be specific. I want a cow versus I want to save $200 to buy a cow next year. Be timely. Always make sure you set deadlines. This will keep you motivated to work towards your goals. For example, I want to pay off my cow insurance within six months. Okay, so be realistic. Make sure you consider your situation while making goals 
For example, Jack might want a new car every year. But reality check, bro, that's not gonna happen. And that's all cool, but why am I doing all this work? Okay then, let's talk about what budgeting does for you. It puts you in control. It prevents impulse spending, helps you keep on track, gives you a big picture, helps you make decisions, and gives you financial security. So Jack, budget and take control of your life. Well, I guess I don't need that hen that lays golden eggs anymore. That's all, folks. So Jack comes back down from the stock, and he goes home. Jack goes home and tells his mom all about budgeting. Well, they budget, and they're able to save lots of money and live their life the way they want to. With all the money that Jack and his mom were able to save through budgeting, they took a trip on Porter Airlines to their dream destination, Myrtle Beach. And that's the story of Jack and the budget stock. So here's our cast list. Jack. Mom. Alan the Accountant. Mr. Moo. Weird ninja stranger guy who's a bandit. Hen. And House. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed our movie. A Harshita Sandar. And Vishal Montero production. For educational purposes only, no animated characters were harmed in the production of this film.